we are kicking off our new series, Bestie Banter, which chronicles the importance of developing and cultivating long-lasting bonds and friendships. I love this so much, mm -hmm. and we are thrilled to launch it all with two driving forces in the sports and media landscape about to take us down a trip with memory lane. ABC's Kelly Carter sits down with her bestie, Jamel Hill, to talk about their friendship, fun, and fond memories made along the way. Mm -hmm. What do you think the key is to our friendship? I do think honesty, loyalty, those two things come to mind. And, you know, I, I think we do give each other a lot of grace. Jamel Hill is an award-winning journalist widely known for her previous role on ESPN Sports Center. Michael and Jamel with me, and I'm having flashbacks. This is probably not that bad. I don't necessarily like to do a lot of talking. I like to do a lot of thinking. Really? But to me, she carries a bigger title, best friend. Our friendship started nearly 30 years ago at Michigan State University, both beginning our careers in journalism, where she helped me get my start. You did my first resume, too. So I did? shout out to you. You did. Oh my gosh. I had literally no experience. <laughs> I worked at my high school newspaper, and that was pretty much about it. But you made it look like I had just come off of winning a Pulitzer <laughs> the New York Times. And I got an internship, and it was great. <laughs> you know, I come from a tradition already established at that young age of that the information that you have, you share. And especially, you share it with people in the business who are a little more vulnerable, women, black women. That was just kind of how I'd already been schooled to do that. Where does that come from, and how hard was that for you in a really competitive environment to say, I don't want to be the only one who looks like me in the room? I've never been the kind of person who feels like somebody else's success is somehow going to cut into mine. It's not zero sum. It's not like if Kelly gets an internship, that means no one else can have an internship. Or if you get this type of job, no one else can have this kind of job. If anything, especially from a representation standpoint, it helps everybody. And I do think that it was something unique about going into sports. Very male-dominated field, very white male-dominated field. And so it felt to me like women in that field really have to look after each other. Through different decades and cities, we've maintained our friendship in the past few years have been made of honor in each other's weddings. You said something to me when we were teenagers. I think I was probably going through some type of heartbreak or something. And what the thing that you said was, when you hurt, I hurt. And I would flip that and say, when you succeed, I succeed too. And I think that's also been something that has kind of worked for us across the decades too, is that we really root for each other and champion each other. Uh, I really hate that you're ruining my thug image right now by telling people that I actually said that. <laughs> a lot of people can only root for each other like if their situation is okay or exactly. if their situation is on the glow up. But I think regardless of our situations, we've always been each other's biggest champion, biggest supporter. I used to think that that was something Thing that was just the base level of friendship and that everybody did that. But as I grew older, I saw that that is not the case. Yeah. You have a lot of, you know, people who they might be in your corner, but everybody ain't rooting for you. Jamel's deeply personal memoir, Uphill, charts her childhood in Detroit, sharing emotional stories of struggle and poverty. Were you thinking of an audience when you were writing this? I think my audience for people who think they're broken beyond repair. And for people who, tend to find a lot of shame in the trauma that they've gone through. What's the message you want to give to people that are going to be new coming to this book as it's out in paperback? What do you want to share with them? It's not about sports. <laughs> they should know that, number one. This is not about sports. And that I think for as much as they think they know about me, there's a lot they do not know about me. I just want to break a little bit of exclusive news with my best friend. Can we do that? We can do that. All right, so what do you have to tell me? So, you talk about unexpected turns yeah. and books I never thought I'd write. I will be writing a children's book. It'll be a book about women, about women who have been phenomenal, impactful, you know, and who have really contributed to our landscape as a society. Oh, that is so special. We're looking forward to that. And yeah. Kelly, thank you. Friendships are so important, by the way. You got to have your friends. You have to. And Jamel's new memoir, Uphill, will be available October 10th everywhere that books are sold.